Hello and welcome to this short presentation on classics, ancient history and archaeology at Trinity College Dublin. My name is Rebecca Usherwood and I am Assistant Professor in Late Antique and Early Byzantine Studies in the Classics Department. Classics, ancient history and archaeology is a uniquely rich and flexible common entry programme. Classics and Ancient History and Archaeology is also available as a Columbia dual degree subject with two years at Trinity and two years at Columbia. In this presentation, I'm going to be focusing on three main questions. Firstly, what is Classics, Ancient History and Archaeology? Secondly, why study Classics, Ancient History and Archaeology? And then finally, what would studying this subject in the Classics Department at Trinity involve? Have you ever travelled down a Roman road or wandered at a Latin inscription in your hometown or seen a modern adaptation of Medea or Antigone? Do you enjoy watching the Olympic Games or films such as Gladiator? If you're watching the video, this video, the answer to these questions is yes. There is something very familiar and yet at the same time very distant about the Greek and Roman worlds of thousands of years ago. Classics, Ancient History and Archaeology is the course for you if you enjoy learning about languages and studying the history, the textual and material cultures of the ancient worlds and their profound influence on the modern world. Our journey through Classics, Ancient History and Archaeology begins with the language and literature of the ancient Greeks whose influence in the cultures of the Mediterranean world in our modern world is invaluable. From the epic poems of Homer to the unrivaled tragedies of Aeschylus, Sophocles and Euripides, from the lyrics of Sappho to the artistry of Climacus, Greek poetry has shaped our understanding of what poetry is. Philosophy and history writing, politics and public speaking all ori originated in ancient Greece, and still inform, in varied and complex ways, our contemporary practices and ideas. Latin. So Latin was a living language. Uh, it was the leading one in Western Europe for over a millennium. It was a language of power and of colonisation, but it was also the language in which ordinary people expressed themselves for hundreds of years. Through Latin, you gain access to the world of ancient Rome, to its achievements and its conflicts, and to its inescapable legacy in the languages that we speak and in the cultures that we call our own. Whether you read Virgil's moving epic, or Catullus's intense love poems, or Cicero's fiery speeches, or Tacitus's uncompromising narrative of Roman rule, you enter a world that is both remarkably similar and crucially different from our own. Studying Latin at Trinity broadens your perspective on how Latin was used as a literary language and as a means of everyday communication. Your curiosity for Greek and Roman cultures can be satisfied without Latin or Greek. In classical civilization, the great works of ancient drama, epic and lyric poetry, history, writing and philosophy are read in translation and situated in their social, religious and political contexts. Poetic imagination, gender and sexuality, national identities and ideologies, the role of literature in society, the relationship between humans and other animals in the ancient worlds. These are all but a few of the topics you will study with us in classical civilization, but always with an eye on their reception through times to their contemporary resonances. Ancient history is primarily the study of Greek and Roman history, but also more broadly, the Mediterranean world and Near Eastern cultures as well. You will explore social life and relationships including the lives of less well-documented individuals, such as women and slaves and ordinary people. You will look at the reception of classical antiquity in the modern world. You will investigate the development of democracy in Athens, uh, the earliest days of the city of Rome, Alexander the Great and his legacy, the rise and triumph of Christianity in the Roman Empire. 
And we, we use a wide variety of different forms of evidence, so different forms of literary evidence, coins, inscriptions, sculpture, papyri. We consider new and different ways of thinking about the past shaped by the present. So archaeology. Archaeology is the study of the ancient world using material evidence. You will look at famous monuments such as the Parthenon and the Colosseum. You will explore sites and landscapes such as the city of Rome, Apollo's uh, sanctuary at Delphi, or the Bronze Age palace of Knossos. And you will also explore their social, political and cultural contexts. You will engage with topics such as colonisation, ancient healing cults, the Roman army, the multiple cultural interactions between the Mediterranean and Egypt and the Near East. And Trinity is truly unique in Ireland in offering you the opportunity to study history and archaeology together and to work with historical and literary records alongside material remains and sites and artefacts. Why study classics, ancient history and archaeology? Our programme integrates the study of textual, visual and material culture of the ancient Greek and Roman worlds in their wider Mediterranean contexts. Over the course of your degree, you'll develop all the key skills associated with the Trinity degree. You'll learn how to think critically and innovatively about the past and about the present. You'll learn to grasp and translate complex ideas and grow confident in presenting these ideas in group work, in discussions, in presentations, in different forms of written work. You'll also learn to work with increasing independence and self-sufficiency and have the satisfaction of pursuing a pathway that genuinely fascinates you and ultimately in your dissertation, designing and completing a research project that is entirely your own. So what does the degree look like? It's a rich and, and flexible program. At the beginning of the degree program, you will be asked to choose whether you would like to study both Greek and Latin, so our dual language pathway, or whether you want to study only one ancient language, our single language pathway. If you enter the dual language pathway, you will exit with a degree in classics, whereas the single language pathway typically leads to a degree in ancient history and archaeology or in classical civilization, with the option of continuing with the language to degree level. And it is possible to switch between pathways in your second year. At the end of your first year, you will choose the route that you wish to take towards your degree, which can be a single honours degree, a major with a minor, or a joint honours degree in any of your preferred subjects. Classics, Ancient History and Archaeology will allow you to develop and pursue your own interests and shape the degree programme in a way that suits you best. So the first year is foundational. You will be introduced to Greek history up to the time of Alexander the Great and then to Roman history from the foundation of the city up to the death of its first emperor, Augustus. You will explore Greek and Roman art and architecture, learning to identify key developments in the representation of the human form, to analyse the use of narrative and mytho mythology in art, and to recognise the development of important architectural forms such as temples and theatres. You will study one or both classical languages. You may be a beginner in Latin or Greek, or have studied the languages before, you will enter the course uh, of studies at the appropriate level, and our programme uniquely enables you to learn both languages from scratch. Depending on whether your interests lie more in the mythology, literature and thought of the ancient world, or in the study of its material remains and its historical records, you will then be trained to read ancient literature, to approach ancient evidence as a historian and as an archaeologist, and to understand how myths deal with fundamental human concerns about who we are and the world that we live in. The shape of your year, your second year, will depend on what subjects you have chosen to focus on. So if you continue to, you will continue to consolidate the language skills and to read, for example, the drama of Euripides, the history of Herodotus, the comic plays of Plautus, the epic poetry of Virgil, 
uh, while also learning to make sense of the visual and material culture of ancient Greek uh, by exploring the hidden lives of objects. You, uh, if you aim to specialise in ancient history and archaeology, you will study the history of archaic Greece and of the Roman Empire, and you will take thematic modules on Greek archaeology and detailed studies of the archaeology of great places such as Pompeii, Herculaneum and Minoan Crete. If your heart lies in literary culture of the ancient world, thematic modules in classical civilization will teach you how to read Homer and Virgil, Herodotus and Demosthenes, and how to use text to access cultural identities and gender and sexuality in the ancient world. You also have the opportunity to take open mod modules or Trinity electives available on a broad range of different topics um, across the college. Your second and third years will also include options to take a study tour to the Mediterranean and to participate in archaeological fieldwork such as excavation or survey. Uh, archaeological practice will offer you direct experience of the places you have been studying and give you practical skills. In your second and third years, you will also have the opportunity to study abroad for a term or for a year, either in Europe through the Erasmus program or in the US, Canada, Australia, or New Zealand. We have Erasmus partnerships with universities in Switzerland, France, Italy, Cyprus, and Turkey. An even wider range of European options is available through the European Liberal Arts Network. We encourage our students to apply for one of the many non-EU exchanges, which are organized on a competitive college-wide basis. But let's come back to your course of studies in Dublin. In your third year, you will continue your thematic studies, either in ancient history and archaeology or in classical civilization, broadening your perspectives and refining your analysis of texts and artifacts in their context through specialized methodologies. Your studies will take you through themes in Roman archaeology, the archaeology of Roman Britain, the political history of classical Athens and the fascinating world of late antiquity. You will see how the ancient Greeks and Romans viewed the natural world, constructed their philosophical thought, established theatrical practices, or fashioned their role in society. In Greek and Latin, you will continue to refine your proficiency in translation and interpretation as you enter the advanced stage of your textual studies, delving deeper into genres and their related styles and linguistic registers. Your independence will be further enhanced by the option of taking an independent project, whether individually or as a team, in Greek, Latin, classical civilization, or ancient history and archaeology. As in the second year, you will have the choice of choosing from a wide range of open modules and Trinity electives to complement your core studies. So in your final year, you will be spoilt for choice with a wide range of special topics in Greek and Latin and of special interdisciplinary subjects in which sources and texts are read in translation. You will be invited to draw on all the skills you have acquired through your work with various different kinds of sources, textual sources, visual, material, and to make connections between the ancient and modern practices and ideas. And most importantly, you will write your thesis, your capstone project on a subject of your choice in the ancient world and its reception with one-to-one -one supervisions with lecturers to help shape and guide your project. After graduation, you will be ready to enter a wide variety of careers. Some of you might wish to proceed to a higher degree in classics or in a related academic subject. Many of you will move on to undertake a career outside of academia and you will find that your classics degree has equipped you with a sense of perspective and ability to think independently and creatively. Our alumni are now in journalism and media, in marketing and business, in the civil service, they work in libraries and art galleries and museums, they are lawyers and diplomats and of course teachers and researchers and we are immensely proud of all of them. Classics at Trinity is from day one a vibrant community and our alumni everywhere in the world treasure the sense of belonging and community they develop during their four years with us. Uh, we look forward to, to welcoming you too.